So this is our makeup look. What do you think about it? It's pretty, huh? And today we're going to tell you guys about Halloween. Yay! And without further ado, let's get started. So Halloween is a festival that takes place every year on October 31st. It is a time when children and adults dress up in costumes, go trick or treating, and make Jack or lantern from empty pumpkins. Halloween goes back to the custom and the and tradition of the Celts who lived between Ireland and Northern France about 2000 years ago. They were pagans who did not believe in God. They told the witches, demons, and the spirits of dead people wandered around the world on the evening before November 1. They lit bonfires to scare them away and they tried to confuse these demons by wearing the same clothes they did, that they did. They also offered them something to eat. And today, Halloween is celebrated mainly by children who dress up as ghosts, witches, and other evil spirits. When they go trick or treating from house to house, they ask for sweets, a tree, or ill else they threaten to play tricks on the people who don't give them anything. Some children and adults go to Halloween parties where they have fun and play games like bobbing the apple in top of water. So, my makeup today is based on vampire. So, I'm going to tell you guys personally about what is vampire. A vampire is a being from folklore that subsists by feeding on the fetal force, generally in the form of blood of the living. In European folklore, vampires were undead, being that often visited loved ones and caused mischief or death in the neighborhood they inhabited while they were alive. They were short and were often described as bloated and already of dark contents, marked difference from today's gone pale vampire which date from the early 9th century. Vampire entities have been recorded in the most culture. The term vampire was popularized in Western Europe after report of an 18th century mass hysteria of a pre-existing folk. Believe in the Balkans and Eastern Europe that in some cases result in corpses being staked and people being a cause of vampires. Local variants in Eastern Europe were also known by different names such as Stringa in Albania, Prokolakas in Greece, and Stringoi in Romania. In modern times, the vampire is generally held to be a fictitious entity, although belief in similar vampire creatures such as Chupacabra still persists in some centuries. Early folk belief in vampire has sometimes been ascribed to the ignorance of the body process of decomposition. After that, and how people in pre-industrial societies tried to rationalize, creating the feature of the vampire to explain the mystery of death. Popperia was linked with legends of vampires in 1985 and received much media exposure but has since been largely discredited. The charismatic and sophisticated vampire of modern fiction was born in 1819 with the publication of The Vampire by the English writer John Polidori. The story was highly successful and arguably the most influential vampire work at the early 19th century. Bram Stoker 1897 novel Dracula is remembered as the quintessential vampire novel and provided the basis of the modern vampire legend. Even though it was published after Joseph Sheridan Lee Fanu's 1872 novel Carmilla, the success of this book spawned a distinct vampire genre, still popular in the 20th century with books, film, television shows, and video games. The vampire has since become a dominant figure in the horror genre. Okay, I'm Tasha as Hardy Queen. So, Hardy Queen is a fictional character appearing in comic books published by DC Comics. 
The character was created by Paul Dini and Bruce Timm and first appeared in Batman the animated series in September 1992 voiced by actress Arlene Sorkin So this is my makeup looks and I'm gonna tell you guys about school A skull and crossbone or dead head is a symbol consisting of a human skull and two long bones crossed together under and behind the skull. The design originates in the late Middle Ages as a symbol of death and especially as a memento mori on a tombstone. In modern context, it is generally used as a hazard symbol that warns of dangers, usually in regard to poisonous substances such as deadly chemicals so thank you so much for watching this video and we hope you guys got a great day in celebrating halloween don't forget to like comment and subscribe and share to your friends thank you so much for watching treat, treat or treat, treat.